in keeping with this kind of series showing the fact that Rome is indeed the mama of Islam, one of the daughters of the harlot. You know, that's all that Islam is. Uh, Islam and Rome are both, uh, you know, satanic bloodthirsty cults. And Roman Catholicism has, you know, Islam, what they do, they just learn from their mama, you know, Rome. Mystery Babylon, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. Plain and simple. You know, the concept of, of jihad, you know, in Islam is essentially borrowed from the Catholic, you know, their just war doctrine where they will uh, conquest, you know, their doctrine of conquest. It's no different. But, you know, Pope Francis, his, you know, uh, love affair with Islam, his fetish with Islam, is just simply proof, more proof of the fact that Rome is, is in fact, the mom of Islam. Now, you might have some Catholics who will go against Islam, but you know, their catechism, official Catholic doctrine, states that Muslims and Catholics worship the same God. And it's absolutely right, they are indeed both Baal worshippers. So, uh, I've shown it in other videos where the catechism says that, but apparently uh, the Jesuit, you know, trained Pope Francis wants the Catholic Church to quote-unquote intensify dialogue with Islam, says here on Arab News. Yeah, there's no dialogue with the, you know, Arabian moon idolatry of Islam. Other than the fact, oh, the only dialogue that should be had that should be had with them is giving them the gospel. Same thing. How the only dialogue with Rome is giving Catholics the gospel, because both Islam and Rome will send souls to hell. It says here on the article, Pope Francis yesterday called for the Roman Catholic Church to quote intensify dialogue with Islam, echoing hopes in the Muslim world for better ties with the Vatican during his reign. Interesting wording there, reign, because the Vatican is in fact a monarchy. Quote, it's it is important to intensify dialogue among various religious, uh, among amongst various religions, and I am thinking particularly of this of dialogue with Islam. The new pontiff said in an address to foreign ambassadors at the Vatican. Why are there ambassadors to the Vatican? Because it's it's a government. That's why, it's a political ideology. Francis' predecessor Benedict. This is back in 2013. It's only amped up more since in the 10 years since. Francis' predecessor Benedict. Uh, was seen by some Muslim leaders as hostile to Islam, and the charge at the, to uh, at the top had been welcomed by the 57-member Organization of Islamic Cooperation in Al-Azhar, Islam's highest seat of learning. Uh, you know, the head of the Saudi-based Islamic Organization, or, or sorry, Organization of Islamic Cooperation, said earlier, earlier this month that he hoped that the relationship between Islam and Christianity, it's Roman Catholicism, which is not at all the faith Jesus Christ started, will uh, regain its, its uh, corality and sincere friendship. Oh, I bet. You know, uh, sorry, this other guy, I can't pronounce his Arab names, advisor for interfaith affairs to Al-Azhar Imam Ahmed al Tayyib in Cario told the AFP, or AFP earlier, quote, as soon as the new policy emerges, we will resume dialogue with the Vatican. Yeah. Why? Because they're dialoguing with their, with their uh, creator with their, you know, mother harlot, plain and simple. Because like I said, Islam is a daughter of the harlot. Uh, Revelation 17, 18 clearly identifies Roman Catholicism as Mystery Babylon. And Mystery Babylon has daughters. Islam is one of them, the Protestants are another one of them, uh, Eastern Orthodoxy is another one, which is just repackaged Rome with a few minor differences here and there. Uh, Freemasonry is another one too, by the way. Even Hinduism uh, is very similar to Rome in many ways. And you have Jesuit priests that, I did a, a blog post on that, how they, they uh, are praising you know Hinduism and Buddhism and other forms of Eastern occult mysticism. Why? Because they're all of, of mystery Babylon, plain and simple. And when the Catechism says in uh, paragraph eight uh, hundred forty six or forty eight, I forget the exact number, but I did a video showing that they says they worship the same God, and it's absolutely right. Like I said, Rome and Islam are indeed both forms of Baal worship. So they, it's absolutely right they do worship the same God. You know, the Christ of Islam and the Christ of Rome is not the Christ of God's word. It is most certainly the spirit of Antichrist, though. So, I wanted to point that out. Don't be deceived by Islam or Rome. Uh, they, they talk about Jesus Christ, but you see it's another Jesus they talk about. Plain and simple. So, anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.